Thank you for having me. My name is Melinda Stanwood. I'm a teacher here in Leon County. My husband and I are also the parents of six children who range in age from 11 to 22 years old. Two of them are transgender. I had the pleasure of seeing you all at the Capitol this spring as I occasionally sat in on meetings, testified in committees, and took some of my children and students on field trips there. I was born and raised here in Tallahassee, and my mother's family has been in Florida since the mid-1800s. I was raised to have pride in being a Floridian. Yet over the past two years, I have personally known six Tallahassee families who have moved out of Florida directly due to anti-LGBTQ legislation. In some cases, it was because they were in direct fear for their child's safety. In other cases, it was because they could no longer recognize this place. You won't hear from those families today, obviously, because they're not here, so I wanted to be here. Much of the hostile legislation passed in 2023 has impacted my family on a regular basis. In one example, um, HB 1521, the bathroom bill, impacted my transgender children and where they can go to the bathroom. My 14-year-old is currently um, in a public high school here in Leon County, and, um, and he always tries to find the single-use unisex stalls in a classroom. And if that can't be found, um, he is not really sure where to go to the bathroom because um, my kids must choose between breaking the law if they go to one bathroom or being safe from harassment if they go to another that corresponds with their um, gender identity or not. This bill makes no sense, and it's a hostile bill. I'm asking for its repeal. SB 266 impacts university classes for my two college students who go to Florida State, as well as the academic freedom of my husband and myself, who both teach. SB 1580 impacts my queer friends and family and their ability to get exams, surgeries, medicines, and therapies if their medical professionals and providers and insurance providers refuse their care and coverage, which they can do. However, the gender-affirming care bill, um, SB 254, is perhaps the worst. This past summer, um, we used every, everything in our power as parents to try to get our 20-year-old um, to get vital hormone therapies. Many other Floridians were not as fortunate. I know that each of you would do anything to protect children. Please understand from my heart that all children deserve protection. I'm asking you to do what you can to show Florida that we all belong here. Thank you.